Hi guys and welcome to your February 2020. This is going to be the what aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of Leo. Sun, moon, rising and Venus. Hello Leo, you closed the series out for the week. Hope this week has found you good, well and in good spirits. We are going to be structuring your video a little bit different if you hear that beautiful thumping in the back. That is me shuffling on camera as I used to do in the old days because this month, if you haven't heard, is going to be all about random extensions uh, for the, uh, the uh, group of you, the group of the collective that I feel needs it the most um, based upon the views. And obviously, if you're not viewing, you're good. That's how I'm going to take it. So you are my last one. Normally that's Pisces um, because they we go in order of the Western Zodiac, but not this month. So if you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you are subscribed to the tribe and what's good fam bams and to all of my new eyes and ears. Hello. Thank you. And my new members, the marvelous members, you guys, I love you. It's going to be a month since um, I launched. So I'm excited about that let's get started all right so we're going to be structuring your video a little bit different like i used to do in the old days leo we're going to be going ahead and getting the five energies and kind of talking about what they're not telling you right here right now live and in the flesh direct okay universe spirit angels and my guides go ahead lift leo and their partners who they are connected with up in spirit and okay everybody's been getting that i don't want it it was the two of pentacles or and or high priestess everybody over the last couple of days there must have been some type of energy shift and finances something has come up i know for this month there's going to be some unexpected expenses oh, please um we will talk about that in the snip I'm going to give you guys a overview of what's supposed to happen to you in the month as I normally do. Um, in addition to telling you what's going down, I'm going to get a little bit more specific to you. Okay, let's go ahead. What are they telling Leo spirit? Okay. All right. So there is an element of... Okay, thank you. Of something that needs to be changed in this Three of Wands because there is a working on it type of thing going on between you and your partner. Uh, looking out on the horizon, trying literally, and that's a metaphor for spending some time alone or in their thoughts, but from a action perspective. So not in the Three of Swords, where you're heartbroken and lonely or not in the two of swords where you are you know in this energy of blocking out emotions um and not making the move and just stuck there not even in a hangman type of type of um energy but this is more in the vein of you know let me let you see it there are the tools Let's work on this TP. Let's build. Okay. What do we have to do for the future to get this off the ground, Leo? Let's make a plan. This person likes to plan things with you. Um, likes to plan things, period. You, you show up in the energy here. Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Um, of course, fire energy. This is having some foresight looking ahead wanting to explore the unknown there are the tools let's do it let's measure you know we got our rope let's do this let's let's build a home together show me what else thank you this keep no 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 show me what else what was that oh my god hold on leo's so what came out, and I'm going to kind of put it back in the deck, was the Nine of Pentacles. I'm not taking that. Um, nine of Pentacles, I feel like this person is wanting to work with you. I'm not going to take it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blend this in. Um, and they've been single. 
they have built maybe a home for themselves for some for some of you guys and they want you to be a part of it i'm putting this back in the second card is the king of cups and this king had, wants to make a love offer there he is okay you see what's in his hand he is ready so having the expo uh, the you know the exploring and the foresight how do we fix this what do we do how do we get on the same page for some of you guys if this is a new relationship this person i really do feel like already has a home for themselves they want to make you a part of it here is the truth of the matter this is a brand new truthful beginning if you are reconciling with a person um that's where the truthful beginning will come from um but if this is a brand new relationship leo it, they want it to be shrouded in truth. They want to start with the truth and they want to make sure that they put up boundaries with the next card being the queen of swords. Um, I want the truth. You know, it's like going to swear in and the testimony. This is my testimony, the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God, put your right hand on the Bible. That's what this is. Um, this feels like it's new. But we're going to continue. We're going to see what the romance angel says in the second. That card that just flipped out. And I have to hold my crown because I got to get it. All right. Oh, here we go. I really don't want to take this either. I don't really feel like it's organic. But again, for some of you guys, let's talk about the truth surrounding our past. That is, this This is the five of, um, of wands and or the devil card. I'm not taking it. But again, just like with the other three, I'm going to blend it. So let's talk about the truth as it pertains to our past. Let's be completely upfront and honest about how we are. Let's not go into um, what our fears are from a standpoint of trying to control the narrative. Let's be truthful here, okay? I feel like that is a fear-based thing. There we go. Here we go. Let's talk about let's talk about marriage. Let's talk about building the home. This seems more organic. Those other cards felt as if that's what some of you guys are moving away from. This feels like a brand new energy, a brand new person, and this person wants to come in and say, you know, out with the old and in with the new. I think that's exactly what I'm going to name this. I feel like this is more catered to um, a newly single Leo. Okay. Give me the bottom of the deck. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the five. Yeah. Heartbreak in the past. This is a new energy in the main energy. Heartbreak. Yes. Somebody had heartbreak. You, someone felt left out in the cold and abandoned in the past and that person had a ton of options and you were not carried correctly. This is also the high priestess. When you left this situation, Leo, or your person here, what they're not telling you, I feel like you were upfront and honest about this um, with this new person. And um, you've, you guys have discussed it. it. It tells me right here, this person is a better person to build a home with you. Out with the old and in with the new. Let me get the top of the deck. We pull. All right. So, yes. Right now, everything between you guys is going well. Because here is a nice nurturing person. Someone who is more financial, uh, financially, um, I want to say, nurturing and practical. Uh, more financially supportive for you, Leo. Uh, this really feels like a, again, newly uh, broken up and newly singled um, Leos with new love energy coming in, okay? It could be that the energy has shifted, but I really do feel like some old stagnant energy was trying to come in, but this person is coming into your life and opening you up out with the old. Like as soon as they feel you going back, Leo, they pull you back in like, uh-uh, we're going to stay right here on the positive. No more feeling sorry for yourself. Um, this person has come in with a new perspective and a new attitude and a brand new bag. And literally with that queen of, of, of pentacles and makes you extremely happy here. Um, you do show up um, as a beat battered and bruised with this nine of wands. 
um, but that is also the blended message for the sun card. This person brings new life. This person is a breath of fresh air. This person comes in and, and, and so far they make you very, very happy. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our angel cards and get the peak of the past clarified a reverse clarification here. All right. Universe spirit angels and my guides. Let's go ahead and clarify this five of pentacles. Okay. So this person is basically talking to me about how it has been between you guys and what they know and what they want you to know. But they may be, if they've been telling you this, this is to confirm where that person came in, leaving you felt left out in the cold. This person returns that love with passion. In turn, shielding you from even feeling that pain. And there is a financial aspect. So um, there could have been a loss of money in that old situation. Okay. Um, or this indicates that the person from the past left you feeling very much so left out in the cold. And Leo, I'm really feeling like your person that you're connecting with is talking to me. So this is, it may feel a little bit different because it feels different to me. They came in to replace your abandonment with, with passion, to make you feel like you never have to hurt again. Um, this could also be them recognizing that you were very passionate for the person in the past, but the person continued to disappoint you and left you feeling left out on the cold. Okay. You take which one of that resonates with it. My hair gets caught up in my eyelash. Ugh. Clarify for me, spirit, the seven of cups. The seven of cups, please, for the peak of the past energy. For Leo and their cross watcher, please. Show me. Yes. So you come into, again, this union. Very, very bitter. Beat battered and bruised, okay? You do. And as a result of that, you are being guided to keep an open mind or this person wanted you to know that not everybody was like that person. Give me an opportunity to show you. Please keep an open mind about your heartbreak and your disappointment. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And I feel like this person, that's exactly what they were telling you. Don't put me in that category yet, Leo. I'm not down. I'm not out for the count yet. Just give me an opportunity to love you right. It's all I'm asking. This person, yes. All right, so that was a peek at the past and the energy that you presented to this person when you guys started. Let's go ahead and clarify this nine. Beat, battered, and bruised. You come in as the wounded warrior right now. You're slowly moving out of that energy, Leo, because this person is there to catch you when you fall and accept you falls and all. I just named this video. Um, this is what I'm feeling. They're catching you. They're there. Yes. And you're slowly, but surely falling in love with them too. They're going to get you. Someone's going to have to teach you, teach you. Me and my Robin think today. I guess I got to listen to him. You know, what's been up with that? Clarify the sun. My goodness with me. Um, they make you, they make you happy. You make them happy, and in turn, they make you happy. There's a reciprocal happiness here. But I feel like you come, Leo, into the union dealing with something from the past that broke you up. And they are here to let you know y'all, you two broke up, but you're not broke up. Don't be broke up about the breakup. That makes sense? Show me, spirit. Yes. I told you. Yes, you come into here a downtrodden, into this energy, a downtrodden warrior. Like, oh my God, I'm so tired. I have to ask for this and fight for that and do this and do that and be sad. And that's the sun. But what's clarifying that is getting to know each other. That is where you are. And so far, it's been so good. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. The bond with this individual is starting to grow. Congratulations on that. 
Um, go ahead and clarify this King of Pen Queen of Pentacles. I'm sorry. Um, there is a feminine energy here, definitely, but the element, the element is not necessarily a feminine energy. Where did the card go? Hold on, guys. Yes, so this person um, is very fun. They extend their lighthearted energy. At the same time, though, they're very practical and responsible and very financially able and very financially, um, what's the word? They are not above gifts. They very much so like, and that's right up your alley, Leo. Somebody going to buy something for you. You like gifts, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you fire sign. That's what this is. This person comes in and they're very financially given, which is right up in your alleyway. Okay. Right up in the alleyway. Okay. Forgiving and learning. And so now you're in an energy of definitely releasing and healing the past because this energy is definitely assisting you to do so. Um, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And that's exactly what you're doing right now. This was beautiful. So, you know, in the heart of the matter, again, is truth. And this person has been very honest with what they want to do and their intentions toward you. Okay. They want it all. They want it all with you. And they're okay with taking their time and letting this love do what it needs to do. But they're a very practical and show and prove type of person. They're not into blowing smoke up your ass. They're not going to promise you the world or promise you, um, you know, filet me on and give you skirt steak. Not this person. So if it resonates with you, that's fine. I feel like although this is what they're not telling you, we're kind of opening this up for Leo singles because... Leo, this isn't a, this is new. This is something very, very new. Um, go ahead and show me. Give me some blockages, please. Yes, 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 yes. One more. Uh-huh. Forgiveness. You have to forgive the past, and you're already on that path. Okay? You have to release fear, too, Leo. Release that fear. This person's working on you, though. They're, your, your walls are going to come crashing down. I'm doing this because I need to get my card. Ugh. All right. Um, you're very, well, in the past, that past relationship has made you not count your blessings as much. So I feel like this is very much so you showing gratitude now. Um, you're very gracious for the second chance that spirit has provided you. Um, this person is very creative and they bring out something in you. Um, you're being advised to kind of use your imagination on a positive standpoint. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. And ultimately, we're, we're talking about forgiveness. That came out right there. Let the past go. Work on letting that past energy go. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. And I am going to go ahead and get you one more card. I'm going to pull a... Don't tell anybody, but I want to pull an island wellness for you just to kind of give us some insight on this person. This person is the truth. The truth. Absolutely. Soulmate. This could be your soulmate. Or you could be theirs. So ultimately what they're not telling you is, is that they, they are on the up and up. They really want to let you know that they want to heal your past and they want to grow with you. Whatever that person did, they're here to undo. There's somebody for everybody. If that person didn't like the fact that you wanted to get married and you wanted this and you wanted that, this person seems more suited to be able to bring you the things that you want, Leo. So that is beautiful. Yeah, that was that hair. You see, I'm sorry for fidgeting. Um, and that's what they want to do. So that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, yeah, I think that they, you found your soulmate and they want to let you know that they definitely think that you're the one for them, you know, soulmate, soul contract, partnership, agreement, 
um, or a soul connection. So this is definitely one. Um, and it's up to you guys. You know, I don't, I, I, I'm not extending it. So I don't know whether it's karmic, but I do feel like everything is going fine right now. People come into your lives either for a reason, for a reason or a season. And this last energy that you're working out of definitely wasn't supposed to stay. So congratulations. I can't wait to see how this is going to shift next week. Hmm. Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. I certainly hope it resonated. Go ahead and drop it like it's hot in those comments and let me know what's going on. Um, there is a Valentine's Day special, and I've done all these videos and forgot to let you know. 15% off on every reading and package that I offer, and it does not expire until the month, uh, the month, the end of the month, the very last day of the month. Um... 15% off of night readings, 15% off of weekend readings, 15% off of packages, 15% off of video readings, unlimited use. There is no limit to how many times you use it. So what I would suggest for you guys who've been wanting a reading, go ahead and use it and book your future readings with the code because I don't know when another special is coming. And I'm just letting you know that. So if it's unlimited, you can book five readings right now for the next five months off that same code, unlimited use. You can book a reading now. You can get a package to start after the reading. You can, you can do whatever you want. I'm here for you. For those of you who are having um, some issues um, and you really need some guidance, I'm here for you. So if that's what you want to do, www.marvelousmadam.com. The codes are there. You need any other information and you just want some clarity, you can either go on the website and put the form submission and ask your question, or you can email me straight out um, readings at marvelousmadam.com. That, that form is a little bit easier for you guys. That's why I stuck it there. Some people don't want to have to go back to the, to the description box. What is Marv's email? And that, that'll come straight to me. It comes to the same box. So if you want to do it that way, go ahead. But I will see you guys here uh, next week when we do it again. I'm going to leave you with the soulmate card. Congratulations, Leo. Bye. There you go.